is the man of the moment, Mark Rudin, in the armband. Mistake from Bolton, how lucky was he to get away with that? Almost a complete calamity, and Leo Bertos might have had the luckiest goal of his career. Long throw from Milligan. Fox contests. Stayed forward and he's won it well, Popovic. Tomic! Popovic has cleared the crossbar with a snapshot. Some nervous moments in defence for Perth Glory. Well, the ball just wouldn't come down for Popovic on the first challenge. And then it wouldn't settle for Alex Brosk. It wouldn't settle for Tomic either. Played the full 90 minutes in Wellington last week. That wasn't the plan of the coaching staff, but the circumstance forced that upon them. The two red cards. Corica. Brosk! He's disappointed with himself, Alex Bross. Wasn't an easy chance. Now Corica, first time ball in. And that was a sweeping, splendid move from Sydney FC. The flag denied Michael Bridges. But that's textbook play. Well, that surely was a handball by Coyne. The referee allows play to continue. Village just getting used to the pace of the game on that left-hand side of midfield. Coin shot. A snapshot it was, and it, for a moment or two, was causing some heart palpitations for Clint Bolton in that Sydney goal. Well, they're looking very fluent down that right-hand side. Mistake from Milligan. Seleski. Danger here for Sydney. And Billy Seleski puts the ball in the net, and the glory take the lead. Well, what about that from Billy Seleski? The young Oli Roo, who at club level in Australia has really failed to establish himself as a consistent performer, but plenty more goals like this. And look out, Mark Milligan gave the ball up, ball up pointlessly in midfield. From that point on, Seleski did brilliantly to cut the Oli Roo skipper out of the equation, and the finish off the hand of Clint Bolton was good enough to go into the back of the net. When a new coach comes in, they play brilliantly. It was the same under Kalina. When Cosmina first took the reins here, that match, memorable match against the Central Coast. Here they are again. And it's another mistake. This time McFlynn, Seleski. Billy Seleski again. Two and a couple of minutes. And Perth Glory looking good. Sydney FC looking very, very bad. Well, you'd think it was a carbon copy, but it was the other side of the field. There was a different Sydney FC player who coughed up possession. Terry McFlynn this time. Sydney out on their feet. Looking around for answers. Well, the answer is don't give the ball away. And Billy Seleski, twice in a minute, has pilfered in midfield and punished the home team. Well, this game has been turned upside down in the space of a couple of minutes. Is coin. And Rizzo is on side, keeps the ball in play. Rizzo takes the space, squares it up. 3 0 Perth Glory. Leo Bertos finally gets his first goal in the Hyundai A League and is at the final nail in the coffin for Sydney FC. Well, he can put goals one and two down to aberrant passing and poor mistakes. This is just shocking, shocking defending from Sydney FC. Rizzo rounds the ball up, gets a telling cross in, and there's three white shirts who just let Leo Bertos ghost in and shin the ball to the back of the net. And Nick Rizzo, this is more than a homecoming of sorts. Sydney's not just his hometown. He is just a stone's throw away from where he went to school here in the eastern suburbs of Sydney and he's put one on a plate. It does now look to be mission impossible for Sydney FC. 32 games into his A-League career, Leo Bertos finally gets a goal. He's not going to get too many easier chances. Corica! Well, a lifeline maybe. What a splendid strike from Steve Corica! Well, the St John's Ambulance has just been pitch side with the defibrillators, and it's Steve Corica. What an exquisite volley.
It's come from nowhere. Perth defending high up the pitch again. Sydney looking the direct route. Bridges knocking the head up anywhere, hopefully. And Corica, one of the players of the A-League with an exquisite piece of technique to lob Tommy Tomic. And Sydney aren't quite flatlining yet. Mark Robertson, Sydney's other new signing on the bench tonight, having received his international clearance from... Uh, Hungarian club FC Sokron, he'll be keen to play against the Glory, of course. Mark Robertson was at the Glory last season, although he spent most of it on the treatment table. Here's Brosk, early shot from Brosk, beat the goalkeeper but passed the post. The Glory defensively went to sleep. Yeah, then nervous times for Perth. Feed the head of Brosk. Mistake, Drillich! David Drillich. Difficult angle. Got plenty of power behind the shot. Boy, slow to push players forward. Maybe a sign of uh, their intent. Simpson. And it all amounts to naught for Perth Glory. Straight at the goalkeeper. Poor choice of option from Alex Brosk again. This is a one-track record, but the pass from Corica was magnificent. Brosk needed to lob Tommy Tomic there. For mine, he is one of the most improved players in the competition this season. Well, it's not unsung as far as I'm concerned. Well, sing his praises then. I have been talking about Jamie Coyne all season. I think he's been great. <laughs> and moving from right fullback into the centre. Good work here from Downey. Still going down, he was off balance, and that's a penalty. And it's in the net from James Robertson. What a strike from the Englishman, but the whistle had already gone. They'll have to settle for the spot kick. Perth glory. It's Seleski against Bolton. Well, that should be the ball game. A hat-trick for Billy Seleski. He takes home the match ball and the glory probably take home the three points. Now it's gone pear-shaped for Sydney. All gone pear-shaped. Behind on the scoreboard, they are in front in the football exchanges for large punts this second half and the penalty given away by Fife. Billy Seleski, absolutely clinical. Bolton outstretched, can't stop it. A hat-trick for a young player. Seleski, who might be punished. Brosk, Brosk goes for goal. He got it past the keeper. But there was the slightest of touches from Julvich, was it? It'll be a corner. He did well, the defender. He did excellently, Dino Julvich. He has been a real find. Talk about Jamie Coyne, who has been outstanding. Dino Julvich has been a real find. Uncovered by Ron Smith. Oh, it goes deep. Mark Rudin, that was the moment he was waiting for to sign off with a goal. A coat of paint denies the skipper. Well, it's going to be a Sydney FC debut for Mark Robertson, the former Perth Glory player. Free kick played in by Corica. Again, it's Hayden Fox who's won it in the air. The volley from Brosk. Tomic stood and watched and hoped and he got lucky. Not too far away from Alex Brosk. Here's Biddle. Gets away from Bertos. The shot from Biddle. Much better stuff from the youngster. Good positive run. Tired touch from Hayden Fox. Biddle, sweet strike. Chance here, Sydney. A called one back. And it's Michael Bridges. Too little, though, you would expect. Too late. With a longer term view, this is good for Michael Bridges. Again, to get some confidence back in front of goal. But what a beautiful pass from Adam Biddle. The focus is on Bridges for getting his second goal of the season. But look at the youngster size this up. And Jimmy Downey just couldn't recover after 
forcing the, the issue in the penalty area at the other end of the field with Clint Bolton and Michael Bridges with a finish of real calmness and the pass from Adam Biddle will file that one away for future reference.